What's up guys, JP Hunts here. Check this out, we're in my relic room slash workshop. This is where I've been fortunate enough to be able to restore, repair, preserve uh, many relics that people have uh, sent me from across the country, but even local relic hunters uh, who have sent me items. And that's what I wanna start this video out by saying thank you to those relic hunters who have trusted me with your items. I really do uh, appreciate, I know it takes a lot to send your cherished items off to somebody to uh, repair them or restore them. Uh, so, to, so to those Royal Hunters, thank you for trusting me with your items. With that said, that's what uh, I want to start out with uh, this video is going to be all about. And um, this is a local Royal Hunter who has trusted me with his item. Actually, I shouldn't say local. What am I saying? This is a Royal Hunter from Tennessee. Okay. He has trusted me with a very special item, an OVM buckle. Okay. But it's not a normal OVM buckle. It's an OVM Mini. So for those of you who don't know what OVM is, it's a Ohio Volunteer Militia Buckle. Super rare. Um, but I've seen the photos he sent me, and I've talked to him on the phone. This thing is horrific. It's an absolute a mess, okay? And he is just wanting me uh, to do what I can, okay? He's got no high expectations. He just wants me to do what I can to try to make it a little bit more presentable to where he can display it. Uh, and then hopefully maybe pass it down to future generations. So that's what this is going to be all about. Um, kind of nervous about opening this because I've seen the photos, but photos are one thing, but to actually have it in your hand uh, and see it in your hand is a different thing. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and take photos of uh, me taking it out of the box. And that's what this video is about. And we're going to uh, show the, the uh, buckle in the beginning, some in the middle, and then uh, towards the end, the restoration at the end, uh, the complete uh, repair job at the end. I'm praying to God that it's going to turn out. Um, so wait and see. But uh, like I said, this thing is horrific. It looks like it's been plow struck so many times. It's just absolutely ridiculous. You can barely recognize it. And let's uh, see what the end results are going to be. I'm really nervous about it. So taking pictures along the way. So cross your fingers. I know I am. <laughs> Stick with me on this, guys. <laughs> 